Well, I'd like to, um, I'm going to be demonstrating the two of my uh, workbench appliances or accessories, I should say. This is the, uh, a planing stop that I've developed recently. It's, uh, it's portable between two workbenches and it plugs into my existing dog holes. So it's very convenient and versatile and it uh, locks in and it, the, the two uh, dowels keep it from rotating. And I'll, along with that, the edge of the workbench uh, accessory locks it in. Hi, I'm Norm Carollo from Wood Skills, and I'd like to talk about a few woodworking books I've uh, written. My recent book is Quiet Woodworking in an Unquiet World. It talks about my movement to uh, hand tools from high tech to low tech, a woodworker's journey, which chronicles my journey from my former high tech career to my uh, current furniture making career. Along with that, I offer courses through woodskills.com. The courses range from a basic woodworking course right through the furniture design and a comprehensive design and making course. All books are available in both print and digital format. So it's a little bit of a, an adjustment to, uh, to set it up initially to make it uh, portable between two workbenches, but, but it works fine, and I use it. I've been using it for a while now, so I'll just demonstrate this, and uh, and I'll show you how it works. So I've got a rough piece of uh, or semi-finished piece of wood here, and I'll demonstrate it using uh, both uh, a four and a half plane, a bench plane smoother that I normally work with, and I've just actually honed the blade on this. And uh, then I'll demonstrate it using a, uh, a wooden hand plane that I've created several years ago, more than several years ago. So, well, this is a this is a rough side. So because it's a rough side, you can hear the a little bit of chatter there as it's as it's pretty. See the shavings. Uh, the shavings are uh, are wispy thin now. There's almost like a, a linen, or uh, and that's that's what I'm striving for. I like super thin shavings for for different reasons. It it allows me to because the shavings are so thin, there's less effort in actually pushing the plane, and I can attain a smooth finish and more of a, an accurate uh, thickness or whatever thickness I'm striving for. So I'll just clean this off. You notice I, I clean, I remove the uh, shavings from the hand plane periodically, and that's only to clear the throat, and I like to see, and that tells me if the shavings are full width. So it's important to have a full width shaving and, uh, in my work, and the full width shaving, shaving tells me that the, uh, the iron is uh, laterally adjusted correctly, it's, uh, it's, and it's, it's, a sh it's a hand plane from, uh, from edge to edge on the board of hand plane, so it's very critical. Well, that's really nice now. So the, uh, the wider the, uh, the wider the, uh, the board, the surface of the board or the face, the more effort you need to hand plane. And this is, as, uh, if you notice, this is full width and at the moment, so you can, you can actually see through the shaving, so that's pretty cool. So that's that, and then I can keep going with that. And what I'll do next is remove this uh, bird bench accessory and use a bird's mouth and demonstrate how the bird's mouth work, works. The bird's mouth is, uh, is another plug in bench, bench access, workbench accessory with the same similar system of two dowels. And what it does is it allows me to lock in a board on edge. Because it's very difficult to, uh, to have plain narrow boards on edge. Unless it's, uh, it's fastened in a vise. So this isn't a good example. But I'll use, a, uh, I'll use this as an example. And what I do is I have two little wedges that lock the board in. I actually had a little, a better piece to, I wonder if this is a better piece to work with. So this is an example of a very difficult board to, uh, to uh, have clean on edge because it's so, uh, I would say the issue is not because it's short, it's because it's very narrow and it's hard to keep stable unless it's locked into a vise. So 
So if we lock it in here, and uh, before we do that, we confirm that the uh, that the grain is uh, grain is uh, is aligned correctly. <clears throat> so we're always trying to uh, hand plane in the direction of the grain. So the grain should be rising in the direction that we're actually hand planing. So this is uh, uh, this is an example here, rising towards the top. So that's where we're hand planing. Uh, so that's so I'll lock that in and. Uh, Now the thing is, uh, I normally don't use a plane this large for this. I'll use, what I'll do is I'll shift to a uh, smaller standard angle uh, block plane. I'll shift to a, a, sm a smaller standard angle block plane for this. And it's, uh, this will, uh, because it's small, it's, it really works with uh, on, on boards on edge on smaller surfaces. So I'm actually uh, going to use this now. Uh, that's, fairly, that's a fairly heavy shaving there, so I'll just lighten that off a little bit. That's nice. I like to use uh, a paraffin wax on the sole of the plane, and this allows me to, to allow it glides better, and it lasts quite a while actually. The, uh, and it's very, uh, very expensive and available everywhere. They have tool waxes you can use also, but I, I, I prefer the, the paraffin wax. I've been using that for almost 15, 20 years now. So that's here's an example of. Uh, If you've got a workbench and you don't have a, uh, a face vise to be able to lock in a thin or small board like this, you can easily set up a, a plug-in workbench accessory like this and work with that as opposed to uh, using a face vise. So again, I'll demonstrate it. And I also have a uh, marble. What I could also do is uh, zoom in, and that's that's the setup with the. Uh, you can see the setup with the uh, with the workbench accessory locked in with the piece with the wedges. I think I'll stop here for now, and also demonstrate the uh, the same process using a uh, a wooden. Uh, I'll demonstrate the same process using a wooden hand plane. Well, this is a little, I had sharpened this template, it's a little large for this, but I just want to, you know what I'll do is I'll, I'll remove this, remove this accessory, <coughs> and plug this back in. And uh, work with this piece. So this piece butts against the, uh, the planing stop that I was discussing earlier, and I'll use uh, I'll use some wooden hand plane now. So I'll put this over here, make some room for myself. I've actually adjusted, just finished adjusting this this uh, wooden hand plane. I use a small brass planing hammer with a wood inset. So, it's not as necessary to uh, to lubricate the sole on the 
on a wooden hand plane as much as a as metal one because it naturally has lubricating qualities to, uh, on the wood, but I do it anyway. So you can see the shavings, they're not quite as, uh, as thin as I would like, but they're full, they're full width. Not quite as wispy as the uh, as the metal body hand plane, but I need to uh, the little this, this the adjustment on the wooden hand plane is a little more sensitive. So to back it off, I tap the back. That's a little better. Yeah, it's a little thinner. So we're, just, we're working with wooden hand planes a little different than metal body hand planes, but the, the there are some advantages. It's just they're lighter. They're uh, I wouldn't say lighter, but they're uh, they just work so much better because it's wood against wood as opposed to uh, metal against wood. I hope you uh, you've learned something through this talk and uh, you appreciate uh, how how critical or important uh, hand planing accessories and your own woodworking and furniture making and uh, subscribe to my videos. I'll bring new topics up revolving around workshops and uh, my, the woodworking techniques I use to create my furniture. So thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.